Good afternoon. Welcome back. It is Sunday, September 17th, 2023. We have a whole slew of birthdays to go over and just a few events. So this is going to be uh, one of our birthday videos where we have a lot to go over. We're going to start off with a couple of events here. 1988 at Dover, Michael Waltrip driving his brother Daryl's car, wins his first career race in the Bush Series. And that was a pretty special win because I think DW was originally scheduled to drive the car and then for whatever reason Michael took it over. Can't remember the circumstances, but <coughs> Michael did drive <coughs> to his first career win. And uh, Dover was known for getting a lot of drivers their first career Bush Series win, including in 1994 when Johnny Benson won on this state, driving for base motor for motorsports. First win for Benson and first win for car owner Bill Bumgardner. And really the only next significant event on this day in 2022, of course, last year, Chris Buescher winning his second Career Cup race. The first for the newly christened RFK Racing and the Bristol Night Race. So now we're going to move on to some birthdays, and we have a lot. I'm going to start off with a couple of Formula One uh, drivers, uh, champions, etc. Born on this day in 1929, passed away in 2020. Mr. Sterling Moss, so a pretty big name there, as well as born on this day in 1962, Damon Hill, son of Graham Hill, of course Damon the 96 F1 champion. So now we're going to dive into some <coughs> birthdays, a few of these folks you've heard of, a few of them you may not have, but nonetheless we're going to keep rolling. So born on this day in 1987, Never was really officially involved in NASCAR, to my knowledge, in any capacity, but is the daughter of three-time champ Daryl Waltrip, and this was the first child born to Daryl and Stevie Waltrip. So Jessica Lee, here she is, uh, pictured with Daryl during uh, one of his wins at Wilkesboro in 1991. We have a couple of family cards there. So there you see Jessica there in the background, and then here she is once again with DW. I don't know, I don't remember her sister's name. Uh, Sarah. Okay, so. <clears throat> but there's that. It's always cool to see the families on the cards. But Jessica Waltrip, born on this day in 1987. I'm sure she's married now, probably has kids of her own. I don't know her married name. Somebody out there probably does. Born on this date in 1985, he was kind of a prospect for Kyle Busch Motorsports for a brief period, but his career really never panned out. Mr. Brian Eichler ran some, had some time in the truck series. I'm not really sure what happened, if it was just a thing where they ran out of money, or he just didn't develop the way Toyota or KBM or whoever wanted him to, but just kind of one of those ones that was here for a few years, and then gone pretty quickly. <coughs> Excuse me. Born on this day in 1944. Sadly passed away in 2014. He's a former gas man, truck driver, kind of a jack of all trades. Worked with uh, Blue Max Racing and Rusty Wallace during that championship season. Later moved to Robert Yates Racing. Norman Koshimishu. Of course, he was an all-pro truck series, or truck driver, not truck series, but they had the... Uh, Voting and all his peers voted him as one of the best hauler drivers. Here he is, 92 Black Max. And then the Texaco Haviland Racing Card, Norman Koshimishu. We have another uh, longtime crewman with uh, RCR and Dale Earnhardt, born on this day, 1954. I'm thinking he was recently on the Scene Vault podcast. I'll have to go back and double check the guest list. Mr. Will Lind, he was one of the longest tenured employees there at RCR. Oops, got a couple duplicates there. But different, different years here, he's a tire specialist there. It's always cool to go back in time and see these uh, team members that have sometimes been long since forgotten. Our next one, born on this day in 1938, sadly passed away in 1984. 
He was initially named to one of NASCAR's 50 greatest drivers. I'm sure eventually he'll get in the Hall of Fame. Mr. Leroy Yarbrough. We're going to flip this card over so you can see his stat line. 14 career races won. Half a million dollars, nearly half a million dollars in career earnings. 11 poles. Put an incredible 106 DNFs and 196 starts. So that's really rough, but that just shows you the equipment was not what it should have been or what it needed to be. There's the car that he drove for uh, a lot of the time. I can't remember. Let's see who this is. I can't remember if that was a, a Junior Johnson. That's who I was thinking it was. And then, of course, again, we said NASCAR's 50th drive, greatest drivers. So the Press Pass Retro set had their 50 greatest drivers. So it's pretty cool there. And our last driver that we have a birthday for, born on this day in 1975. You'll know him as seven time. Really needs no introduction, so I'm not going to say much here. Jimmy Johnson, JJ on this name variation. And I didn't pick out a lot of cards because really the only thing that changed during the Lowe's years was just a little bit of the paint schemes and, and some of the associate sponsorships. So I just tried to throw a little bit of something in from every Lowe's era, whether it was Cobalt Tools or Lowe's or whoever. Try to get the different uniforms. Like even this uniform is similar, but this one has National Guard on it. So you can kind of just tell, okay, well this is when Junior was with the team. This is before, even though that's just 2008. That would have been a 2007 picture. You know, you got Quaker State and Valvoline. A couple different oil companies there. You have the Ally Days. Now we're going to kind of rapid fire through some of the cars. Again, they did some pretty creative things. One of the Power of Pride schemes. There's a COT. So here, that's got to be one of the years he was in the playoffs or the chase with the green spoilers and the valence. I'm going to put these down here so I don't drop them all. That's an interesting looking paint job. And you got one with the Shelby Shelby esque stripes. He's in the prelude to the dream. Another COT with a better view of the wing on it. So it's, again, they just kind of changed it up from year to year. I don't know if that was the plan or if they just wanted to do some different things. Jimmy Johnson's throwback to his uh, days running off road racing, and of course, his Ally car, one of the last cars that he ran. So anyway, thanks again for watching. Really, really do appreciate it. We had a lot to go through today. Almost out of breath, so I'm going to have to take a break now. But make sure you come back tomorrow. Of course, it's going to be Monday mailbag, looking at NASCAR Hero cards. And then uh, at noon will be Fast Packs, and then birthdays and events later in the afternoon. So as always, thanks again for watching. Really, really do appreciate it. And we will see you tomorrow.